Hello and welcome to our five sessions of exercises based on the themes and characters in Lewis Carroll's book Alice in Wonderland. These will be mainly seated exercises, there will be some standing exercises too, but always with a seated alternative if you prefer to do those. So all you need is comfortable clothing and a bit of space to move around in and Rosa and Louisa will be leading the movement exercises in their homes. I'll be playing the piano and leading vocal and creative exercises from my home and we hope you enjoy it very much. We are going to begin today with a very gentle, easy, nice warm up to get our bodies moving before we begin delving into our Alice in Wonderland movement, okay? So before we start warming up with some music, let's just take a quick posture check. Um, so just having a little bit of a wiggle to begin with in your chair and feeling your sit bones pressing down, grounded into the chair and making sure we've got some space between the back of the chair and our back. So if you need to, just slightly rocking yourself forwards and finding that lovely tall spine, okay? Imagining we've got that string pulling us up to the ceiling, holding us nice and tall, good. And then just checking that our feet are in our parallel position. Our toes are pointing forward, our knees are pointing forward. So, okay, we've got that 90 degree angle in our legs. Good, and I'm feeling nice and grounded through your feet as well. So we've got that off position, that grounding through our feet and that rising and pulling up through our spine, all right? Okay, so let's just take a little bit of a warm up now. And I'd like to begin today by um, just having a bit of a squeeze, okay? So let's just take a bit of a squeeze on one arm. So moving around your arm here. And you can come onto your hands and squeeze your fingers. And you can um, apply as much pressure as you want, so whatever you feel like you need here. Good. And just coming up onto your shoulder, having a bit of a squeeze around your upper arm. Lovely. And just let that arm hang heavy now as you bring that pressure, that, that feeling and the pressing through, through the arm. And then when you're ready, we're going to have a brush through that arm. So just brush down. Brush. Good. In any way you want. Lovely. And just bring the other arm down. Good. And now let's just close our eyes and just see if you can feel that difference from one arm to the other. Is it starting to wake up? Is it feeling a little bit longer, a little bit more alive? Just noticing if there's any difference or if it feels the same. And when you're ready, just opening your eyes and let's come to the other side. So doing a similar thing, just waking, waking up that arm and maybe pressing through your fingers as well. Just whatever you need, however much pressure you want to, to put onto your arm, that's completely up to you, could be doing really soft um, amounts of pressure or you could be quite getting into some muscles there if you need that, good, and making sure you're coming up to your shoulder as well here, giving it a bit of a rub on all the upper arms and down onto your hands, onto your fingers. And just as we did on the other side, let's take a bit of a brush, so just letting your arm hang heavy and just get what you need from that kind of massage into your arm. And when you're ready, we're gonna take a brush, and a brush, and a brush, and last one, brush. And just let both arms hang heavy there, and close your eyes, and again, just notice how your arms are feeling now. Are they feeling lovely and long and full of energy? Feeling a little bit more awake? And when you're ready, opening our eyes and we're just gonna lift our arms up 
and just imagine that rain is starting to fall. So coming onto our head with the tips of our fingers and just going through our hair, onto our face, down across our cheekbones, onto our jaw, maybe behind on your neck and up on the front of your neck, maybe on your ears, just letting that that rain fall onto your face and coming down one up and up. It can be as far down as you want, all the way to your fingers or just onto your shoulders and just running across your chest. And let's have a bit of a pat on our chest, waking up. Good, and let's bring our hands across and we're going to have a whoosh out to the side. So we're going to send both of our arms out to the side after three. We've got one, two, three, whoosh. Lovely. Let your arms float down. Let's do that again. One, two, three, whoosh. Any noise you want, you can make. Here we go. Let's do that one last time. Coming across, one, two, three, whoosh. And this time, float your arms up and let them fall down in front of you. Nice. And let's come to our legs. So just give your legs a little bit of a rub. So rubbing through one thigh and again, doing whatever, whatever amount of pressure you would like today. So really massaging into it and giving your knee a little bit of a rub making some warmth go in there. I know it's a bit chilly at the moment, so maybe really, really rubbing around there, getting that warmth in, and down onto our calf. Just making that start to come awake a little bit. Let's have a bit of a pat. Coming up one leg. Good. That's it, all around the calf and the back. Back of the thigh, lovely. And when you're ready, we're just going to clasp our hands underneath our leg. And we're going to lift that leg up and really let go of the muscles in your leg. So just let your arms hold your leg here. Everything in your leg is nice and relaxed, nice and heavy. And after three, we're gonna drop that leg to the floor. Okay, one, two, three. And start to feel that tingling, everything waking up. Let's go to the other side, giving your leg a bit of a massage. That's it, moving through as much as you want. Bit of a squeeze in your thigh. Nice. And just getting some warmth in that knee, around the back of the knee as well. Warming that joint up, ready to get moving. And a bit of a squeeze down on your lower leg if you'd like, if you can. And then let's change that squeeze into a bit of a tap. Tapping up, waking everything up, that's it. All the way down and all the way up. You find the knee onto the calf and the back of the thigh, up to the hip. Waking everything up, lovely. And when you're ready, let's clasp our hands under our leg again, lifting up. Feeling that that leg is really let go, everything's relaxed, all the muscles are nice and easy. And after three, we're going to drop that, that foot to the ground. We've got one, two, three. And feeling everything nice and tingling and waking up through our legs now as well as our body is good. And let's just have a bit of a move through our torso now. So reaching forwards and pressing your tummy button to the back of the chair. And then we're going to lift up and press down. Good, now let's go up and bring our hands together. Bring them down to our thighs, through that midline, and then you're going to snake your head forwards, finding a nice long spine here, and let's go back. So retracing our steps to find that tall spine. Okay, let's do that again. Reaching forwards, tummy button to the back of the chair, lifting up, pressing down, and up drawing that through the midline, finding your thighs, pressing through with your spine, finding a nice tall straight spine and retrace that, coming back through and coming up. 
Let's do that one more time. Reaching forwards. Tummy button to the back of the spot, uh, the back of the chair. Lifting up. Pressing down. Lift up, hands touch, palms together. Coming through. Good. And let's just press through. Your head is leading through here. Finding that lovely long spine and tracing back through. Good. Sitting up. And now let's just have a bit of a free twist. And a twist. And a twist. And twist. Keep that moving nice and slow. And gentle. Good. And let's just come back to the centre when you're ready. Having had that lovely twist through our torso, let's bring everything into a ball. So I want you to scrunch your fingers and your toes and every muscle in your face, okay? So just really scrunching yourself into a ball. And after three, we're going to explode and you can let everything go and just make whatever noise you want with that explosion. And your hands are gonna fly out to the side, okay? So making a big movement after three, but we're beginning in this scrunched up ball position, really scrunching everything together, one, two, three, good, okay, and just coming back, finding that parallel position. Okay, we're going to recap our um, tea party, the Mad Hatter tea party, and so we started with our Mad Hatter, so we're going to take our hat up, going to come into a little scoop forward so we're greeting our guests hat back on and then we'll invite more people in with that little twist and a curling of the fingers in taking that hat so twisting to the other side to get really get that nice twist into your torso and then forward hat back on and we're gonna scoop and scoop then we open one leg place the heel down the other place heel down Take your arms in and with the elbows with heels and down. One leg lengthens and we're going to reach away from the leg to get really that nice length and center. Heels and elbows up and down. Second side going away from the leg, center. And here we did that four counts. We're going to go in one, two, three. That was the clock striking. We go into our tea party tea serving <laughs> so we're going to go heel and hands i think you have a tray here or a cup of tea the other side we're going to take it in and in then that magical big teapot we're going to have to reach and that leg's going to help to scoop and a really quite sharp elbow here as you take that teapot to the side we're going to take our hat reach forward and scoop and then we're going to pour leaning to the side, pour the tea in, and head on. Then we'll scoop the cream from the cake and lick to taste. Take the cherry, top of the cupcake, into your mouth. Reaching the teapot, and we're going to open our pocket, pour in, and then we did that step, 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 clap. So it's always one, two, three. And here comes our sleepy dormouse. So we're going to start with mousy steps, so introducing a new character. So we're going to go with little sort of paw scoops. We're going to walk, sneak, and two. And then we can smell the tea and the cake. So we're going to do like a little whiskers here. We're going to go <laughs> smelling one way, but then we're going to fall asleep. So like curving forward, but then we're going to be a little bit sort of... Uh, Almost not scared, but ah. and then we're just gonna be woken up and we're gonna go like <gasps> and down. Now we're gonna go sneaking the other way, so pause with step, and then we're gonna go whiskers the other side, smelling the tea and the cakes, but then we're gonna fall asleep again, and then like we're woken up by something <gasps> and down. now the others are gonna push us into the tea box and we're gonna go. And then you would go all the way in, squeezing into your little ball here. We're inside the teapot. We're going to try and swim when we want to escape. So we're going to take our legs again, heel, heel, in, 
in and as we do that we're gonna swim like you would swim forward and in and we'll take two swims here good <laughs> and then we're going to escape diving through the spout so we're gonna take a big dive down and think like you're coming up through the spout and down with the arms we're gonna squeeze the water off our tail and brush it off the fur good so that is our mouse and then once we've done the brush through um, the arm here we're gonna do that uh, clock striking again and clap so let's recap the mouse so we're gonna do sneak and sneak and our whiskers to one side falling asleep and then <gasps> waking up and we're gonna go other way and whiskers and falling asleep and woken up and then we're going to be pushed into the teapot and we'll go two swims forward and then diving through the spout and we'll cut out and we'll take our tail squeeze and then we're going to brush just once so let's brush once and I think there's no time for the steps actually here. Sorry, we're gonna brush and clap. That's our clock here. Then we'll come back to the tea party section. So the tea serving section. So we go same thing, tea on your tray, taking it in, in. Big teapot here, hat. And we're gonna serve, take the hat back in. Scoop the cream, lick, take the cherry, drop. I'm going to take the other side, another teapot, pour it into our pocket. And this time I'm just going to finish with a little hat, like the Mad Hatter's pose here. And that's it. Let's try the whole thing with the music. Hat. Calling in. The other way. Very good, fantastic. So 
So we looked at our mime exercise last week where we had a dialogue between the cat and Alice and we're just going to recap the movement this week and then you can pick your character, you can be the cat or Alice and Rosa is going to be Alice, I will be the cat so you can pick which one of us to follow and we'll do that through with some music, okay? But let's recap the movement to begin with. So we're sitting up nice and tall and we've got our first little bit of dialogue that the cat has to begin with and we're saying in that direction, pointing across, lives a hatter, hand comes to head, palm is facing to the side. In that direction lives a hare and here our palm is facing forwards as though we've got that kind of rabbit hair ear above our head here. So in that direction lives a hatter, in that direction lives a hare. Palms come down, we say, is it either you like, clapping together, they're both mad. Okay, in that direction is a hatter, in that direction is a hare. Is it either you like, they're both mad. And then Alice says, but I don't want to go among mad people. Yes, so we've got gesture in, but I, wrists are flexed as we press across, don't want to go, palms circle to face up, as we say, among, and then hands come in, we're across. We don't want to go among mad people, okay? And then the cat says, oh, but you can't help that. So we're pouring forward, shaking our head, oh, but you can't help that. We're all mad here. I'm mad, you're mad. Okay, so that is pouring forward, shaking our head. Oh, but you can't help that. Tilting our head to one side, hands come either side, and we do a half circle to come back up to centre. We're all mad here. One hand comes down to draw our big Cheshire cat smile. I'm mad. And then pointing to Alice, you're mad. Good. And then Alice says, how do you know that I'm mad? So when hands come up, we're shocked. How do you, pointing to our head, know that I'm mad? Good. And then we've got our kind of chorus section here where we're saying, you must be, the cat's saying, you must be, otherwise you wouldn't have come here. But we're going to do this bit all together. So if you're the cat or if you're Alice, you do this bit nonetheless, okay? So we've got our tap, heel, tap, heel, and that's just toe tapping, drop the heel, toe tapping, drop the heel, and opposite arm comes forward with a click on that toe tap, so we've got tap, oh, <laughs> tap, down, tap, down, and then we're stepping out, in, out, in, with our circle, out, in, out, in, so that you must be, otherwise you wouldn't have come here, again, you must be, Otherwise, you wouldn't have come here. Keep going, you must be. Otherwise, you wouldn't have come here. Okay, so that was our, that's the whole of the movement that we've got. And for that section in the, in the middle there with our toe tapping, we do that four times through. And then as you know from last week, we go back to the beginning and we start the whole thing again. And when we've done the whole thing twice through, we all finish with a big smile, drawing our smile up to the ceiling, okay? So it's up to you now whether you want to be the cat or Alice. Now, if you'd like to be Alice, follow along with Rosa, who will be on the screen in just a moment. Or if you'd like to be the cat, follow along with me. But we all come together to do that middle bit and we all come together at the end to do the big smile, to lift up, okay? Let's go through all the way. We've got it twice through with the music, the music keeps going, and we, get, we do the whole thing twice, all right? So sitting up nice and tall when you're ready. Let's give this a go with some music. Ready, cats? In that direction is the hatter, that direction is the hair. Is it either you like, they're both mad. I don't want to go. Among mad people. Oh, but you can't help it. We're all mad here. I'm mad. You're mad. But how do you know that I'm mad? You must be. Otherwise, 
Ladies and gentlemen, have come here. You must be. Otherwise you wouldn't have come here. Keep going, you must be. Otherwise you wouldn't have come here. Last time you must be. Otherwise you wouldn't have come here. Getting ready for our next round. In that direction is a handsome. That direction is a hair. Is it either you like the boat? Mad, but I don't want to go among mad people. Oh, but you can't help that. We're all mad here. I'm mad, you're mad. How do you know that I'm mad? You must be. Otherwise, you wouldn't have come here. You must be. Otherwise, you wouldn't. You must be. Otherwise, you wouldn't have come here. You must be. Otherwise, you wouldn't have come here. Everyone finishing with a big smile. Lifting up. And drop. Great. I think we should do that once more through. And this time, when we do it with the music, let's not talk through with the words okay so we'll keep quiet and just do the movement that we've got with the music okay so it's a bit challenging because those words really help to cue us but let's see how we get on so everyone sitting up last time no speaking this time just with the movement and music here we go cats ready like to we will come to stand now um, but as always if you'd like to remain seated that's absolutely fine there will be a seated variation of everything we're doing standing when the music's playing so feel free to stay seated if you'd like to otherwise bringing our feet slightly under our chair pressing through our thighs to come up to standing now if you'd like to hear we'd we would encourage you to pause the video and take a quick break to have some water or um, a little bit of a break for whatever you need to do. And then when you're ready, coming back. We are going to do our Queen of Hearts exercise now, which we started last week. So let's just recap the movement. Our feet are in parallel position and our hands are down by our sides to begin with. And then on the introduction, we've got one hand coming to our hip and the other reaches out to hold our skirt to the side there. And then we're looking over one shoulder 
and this is kind of surveying what's going on around you. So looking over one shoulder, feeling quite important, nose is quite high to the ceiling, and looking over the other shoulder. And we keep our focus here as our hand that's holding our skirt reaches up behind our head and then all our fingers splay as they were putting on our crown, okay? And that stays there as our other hand releases from our hip, softly floats into the space and then sharply says no to somebody in front of you, okay? So there's a change in dynamic throughout that movement from our hip floating softly and no. And then our hand with our crown comes down to reach to the side of us and we take a plie through our knees as we come up with one of our tarts and give it a taste. Mmm, that's good. And then both hands are going to, to come to one side as though you're kind of moving your skirt out of the way to show off your beautiful shoes and come back. Good. And then one hand comes to the hip and the other hand is taking that wave, that queen-like wave across, saying hello to everybody in front of you. But then we spot somebody over there across ourselves and we're going to point to them with a shocked face and we're going to signal to have their head chopped off. Okay, so that's slicing across our neck and tilting your neck to one side. And then you're going to lift both fists up in anger here. Okay, good. And then we're going to take one hand's hip, the other hand to find our skirt again. So this should be the opposite hand holding the skirt to the one that we had to begin with. We repeat all of that, but we're doing it on the other side. So we're looking over one shoulder and over the other shoulder. Our hand holding our skirt floats up to find our crown. Fingers are splayed above our head here. Other hand softly floats, says no. Then we plie, pick a tart up and taste it, that's good. And bring your skirt out of the way as you point one foot forward to show off your sparkly shoes, good. One hand comes to hip and the other hand waves across our body until we find someone in the crowd <gasps> that should really have had their head chopped off. So pointing to them with a shocked face, slicing across our neck and tilting our head to one side and lifting our fists up in anger here. Okay, that's our first section that we've got. And then there's a little bit of an interlude here. And for this, we're going to Scoop up our nose and arch that finger all the way forwards to show how important and high society we really are. That arm keeps floating behind and then comes in front of us and fingers point down to the floor ready for someone to kiss our hand and the other hand does the same. So both hands are ready for a kiss in front of us there. Good. Now we've got our step in the space. So let's just recap that without the arms to begin with. We step forwards, back foot stays where it is, steps and then front foot comes back to join it. We then step to the side, step together and then on a kind of diagonal backwards, back step together and then we go to the side, step together. Okay so that pattern is forwards, step together, side, step together back step together, side step together. And our hands have just finished here and we're kind of moving our skirt as we take this step with us. So as we step forward, your hands are going to come to the side of your hip there. We're stepping forwards, back together. They swap to the other side. Side step together, back step together, side step together. Okay, so we do that pattern once in the space and then we're drawing that heart above our head and finding the point of the heart under our chin here. Nice. And then we're taking our kisses across to all of our friends in front of us. So you're kissing one, two, three, four and twisting in the space as we do this. So we're starting facing one way, coming around the centre and 
ending up facing the other way. But then we spot somebody again who means their head chopped off. So one hand to hip, hand that's coming across our body points, <gasps> signaling for them to have their head chopped off. Hands coming up in rage. And this time as well, we're going to throw our hands out to the side. We're so outraged that this person is still there amongst all our friends. Okay, we then take that step to the other side. So the other foot is going forwards and our hands come towards the other foot as it moves forward, towards the other hip, sorry, as it comes forward. We're going forward, step, together. Side, step, together. Back, step, together. Side, step, together. And then we draw that heart in the space again. And we kiss, starting the other way. One, two, three, four. <gasps> Spot someone, signal for their head to be chopped off. Show the angry fists up. And we finish with a big, <gasps> in shock. Okay. Good, so the Queen of Hearts kind of has this opposition in her where she's trying to be very proper and very composed, but then gets very angry and, and shouts off with, off with your head to lots of different people. So we're kind of showing that composed Queen of Hearts, showing off her lovely shoes, having a nice time, putting a crown on her head, and then that difference with that shock and saying off with their head in this exercise. Let's try that all the way through with some music now that we've recapped the movement. So standing up lovely and tall, hands by our side to begin with. One hand comes up, other hand to skirt, looking over and over. Hand comes up and crown, soft and no. Plie and taste, good release and up. Waving across and point. Shake those arms, find that position, look, look, crown comes up, soft, no, plie, taste that tart, point and in, waving across, and <gasps> off of their head, shake those wrists, good, find that nose arch, and circle, circle, and forwards, to the side, ready to go behind, nice, side step together, draw that heart, find the point and we kiss, two, three, four, point, <gasps> shake those fists and throw, other foot forwards, good, to the side, nice and behind, and side, Lovely, draw that heart, find the point and we kiss, two, three, four, <gasps> up with our head, shake it, fists and throw. Okay, brilliant, so since it's the last week, we are going to add that Queen of Hearts exercise onto our Flamingo Swing exercise, okay? So we're going to start by doing the Queen of Hearts movements and then after we finish, we've done our big, <gasps> the game of croquet begins. Okay, so let's recap that flamingo movement now and then we're going to do it with some music and do the whole thing, the whole way through, Queen of Hearts flamingo swing finish. Okay. So let's very quickly go over our flamingo swing movement. You should be quite familiar with this as we've done it for two weeks already. So we'll just very quickly go through it without the music and then we're going to go for the whole thing, Queen of Hearts and flamingo swing with the music all together. Okay, so um, there is a long introduction actually on the flamingo swing music. So there will be time to kind of compose yourself after our Queen of Hearts to get ready and get in the, the zone for the flamingo swing exercise. On the introduction, we're bringing one hand down and the other hand clasps to meet it, holding our flamingo ready to play croquet. We've then got our step, step, then swing and up, back, Back, bend, swing, up, 
forwards, forwards, bend, swing, and back, back, bend, swing. One hand to hip, other hand behind, transfer that weight. We're on a diagonal to do two gentle swings, one and two. Now much higher, one and two. Now back to gentle, one and two. Much higher, up and up. Good. From there, we're turning our body back to face the front. Both hands are coming down, holding our flamingo in one long line here. We're getting ready to do our lower swings in front of us, facing centre. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six. Coming up, seven, eight. Now we're really swinging those arms for four. One, two, three. Four, five, circling, six, seven, coming back to parallel, hands come down, eight. Ready to repeat, we've got step, step, clear swing, and up, back, back, bend, swing, up, forwards, forwards, bend, swing, lovely, and back, back, bend, swing. Now other hand comes back, holding that flamingo. Other hand on our hip, we've got two gentle swings. And then higher, and higher. Back to gentle, one, and two, and higher, and higher. And then coming to our horizontal line, we've got our low swings going one, two, three, four, five, six, coming up, seven, eight. Now really swinging those arms, one, two, three, four, on five, we're circling, six, seven, closing, eight. Okay, so that's our flamingo swing exercise recapped. So I think we should just go for this. We're going from our Queen of Hearts straight into our Flamingo Swing, all with the music, as a final kind of set the scene of the Queen of Hearts uh, gardens um, to finish our term now, okay? So feeling nice and composed, don't worry too much about this, just really enjoy it and show me lots of that character of the Queen of Hearts as we do her exercise to begin with, okay? So lots of sass, lots of anger and lots of trying to be very important. Hands down by our sides. Let's give this a go. Hand to hip, other hand to skirt. We look over our shoulder, other shoulder. Lift to your crown, soft and no. Plie, taste, point and in. Ready to wave. Good. Spotting someone, <gasps> offer this hand, shake those fists. Lovely, looking over our shoulder, other shoulder. Lift into your crown. Ready with our nose up, circle that hand, one, other hand, two, and we step, step together, to the side, ready to go behind, and to the side, drawing that heart, find the point, and we kiss, 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 spot someone, up with his head, shake those fists, and explode, step forward. Gentle swings, now much higher. Good, 
back to our gentle one, two, and higher, ready to move to the front, here we go, low, swings, really bend those knees, it's coming up, seven, eight, now much higher, two, three, four, ready to circle, five, six, seven, and eight, step a marathon of our standing exercises there so well done everybody that was amazing we're going to come down to our chairs for a little cool down so just finding your way to the front of your chair and feeling the chair in the back of the legs sending your sit bones back and then slowly lowering down taking the feet to that parallel position under your knees heels under the knees and sitting nice and tall so we're going to do a little cool down, thinking about Alice uh, waking up and has this dreamy feel to it and Alice is remembering some of the characters that she met uh, in Wonderland. So just follow me and we'll do this to some lovely music that Nia has played for us. So sitting nice and tall, here we go. Starting with a big yawn and stretch. And release. And we'll take that to the other side. You can lengthen your legs and arms. Oh, and release. And we'll take our arms in first and second. Twisting and change. Get a little twist to your spine. Sweep. Now opening the arms to the side, lengthen and over to one side and swap and taking the arms to the side, lengthen and we're going to reach up and now thinking about that falling into the rapid hold but slowing down Lengthening one leg, flexing the wrists and changing the other leg, flex the foot, flex the wrists <laughs> and coming back, sitting nice and tall, so we'll remember the rapid here and looking at the time and there was the man Hatter with his hat and the cat and the mouse and the caterpillar with the segments and we'll take you wavy caterpillar moves and again just ripple through your spine and let the arms float we met the queen of the hearts who chopped off the heads and opening the arms and yeah like you'd press the air lengthen through your spine very good lovely thank you for joining us for all these Week. So if you want to redo some of the classes, they're all available in YouTube for you to do again. Thank you so much.